What's up, Internet? My name's Ori. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. You like this video, hit that like button, hit that notification bell. You'll never miss a video. You'll never miss a stream. Today is Saturday, August 27th. It's day 53 inside the Big Brother house. And well, uh, my last video, that really uh, aged well, didn't it? <laughs> Just a, a few hours after I posted uh, that video. Uh, it all seemed like we were headed down the path that Turner chose to win this HOH and went out and tried hard for it because he didn't trust Kyle not to make the rash decision of going against the leftovers. His first one-on-one -on -one was with him, and he was really trying to push the idea. He's like, let's go six strong, three versus three. I don't feel like I can trust uh, Alyssa and Terrence to win competitions for me next week since I can't play in HOH. Uh, so it seemed like things were going down the, the path of, all right, we'll stay leftover strong. And it seemed like that's where we ended. Everything seemed good. You could kind of tell from like body language that Turner seemed he was more invested in the conversations he was having with the former leftovers than he was having with Terrence and Alyssa. And it, it just gave off the impression that, hey, this is where we're headed down. About three hours after I posted my video, Kyle goes back up to the HOH room. Lights are out. Turner's like half asleep. And he just goes in trying to mist Turner. And he succeeds, really. He brings up the idea that uh, Michael might know about the pound, which, funny enough, is from Kyle. He told Michael about the pound. I don't think he ever told him the name. I don't know if they ever told him the name of it, uh, but he did say like he heavily suggested it and then eventually doubled down on it and pretty much told him flat out. It's like, yeah, like the four of us were together and then we brought you guys in. Like, what do you, what aren't you getting here? Uh, he brought up the idea that uh, Alyssa and Terrence would spill everything that happened outside uh, with the Dire Fest uh, nominations and Kyle blowing up the game, which Turner had already set himself up with and was able, would be able to cover himself, right? So let's just hypothetically say Alyssa and Terrence go up on the block and then they start saying, oh, well, Kyle blew up the, the leftovers and Turner was in on that too. All Turner has to say is, what are you talking about? I didn't know anything about you guys knowing about that. And if I did, why would I put you guys on the block right now? Like, it, it, it writes itself. You don't have to really even cover it up much. So it, it was a thing. But he did cover and say, like, I didn't say anything. I don't know if Kyle said anything. Maybe Joseph did. And he told all the other leftovers this. So he had outs with that. But Kyle was able to pretty much convince Turner, like, yeah, we'll pull Monty in. We'll pull Monty in. Because that was something that... Turner was very adamant about that he trusts Monty and he wants to bring Monty along with him. Kyle sees this as an opportunity to go, okay, well, if that gets Turner on board, we can bring Monty over to focus Brittany, uh, Taylor, and Michael. Uh, eventually later, because they had a lockdown, they actually uh, brought in the smaller uh, kitchen table. <laughs> they've they've shrunken it now, so it's down to the final eight people. They've made it a the smaller table, so they had that lockdown real early in the morning, which was also why Kyle was even really able to get to uh, Turner so early. They had the lockdown call, and everybody had to wake up really early, and then they went up to the HOH room. Before that was when uh, Kyle went up to talk to Turner. So after the lockdown, uh, Monty is pulled in with uh, Kyle and Turner, and they kind of go over the whole idea of like, look, like we got to stick together. Brittany, Michael, and Taylor, they got a final three deal going on. Like we have to do something about that. And Monty kind of agrees and he goes along with it because uh, what are you going to say? No. <laughs> You're going to say no to the person who's AHOH right now, right? You're going to say no to an alliance. You go along with it. Uh, he leaves, and when he does leave, Turner and, and Kyle kind of agreed, like, yeah, we'll bring him into the fold, we'll fill him in on everything that happened, and, you know, it is what it is. They also have um, later started calling themselves uh, the City Council, uh, so they're no longer the Pound, since the, there's no Joseph with them anymore, uh, they're the City Council, so that's uh, the name they're going with with that. Uh, nominations came and it was no longer going to be Terrence and Alyssa. It was Taylor and Brittany. Uh, those are your nominees for the week. Whew. 
what what a few hours can change inside the Big Brother house sometimes. Uh, and apparently, he blamed it on Joseph saying that uh, Brittany Taylor and Joseph had a final three. Uh, so they were kind of trying to leave Michael out of the situation, even though Michael really is the backdoor plan. They want to get rid of uh, Michael this week. Uh, and uh, afterwards, there was a lot of chaos going on, lots of different conversations. Most of it was just people lying to each other. But Turner did kind of reassure Brittany that, like, there's, like, no scenario where she leaves this week. Though there is a scenario, because if Michael wins veto and takes Taylor down, which he's actually talked about doing because it would make sense with the votes, maybe, uh, Brittany would leave. Uh, maybe not, because maybe Monty flips back and they do vote out parents or uh Alyssa depending on who would go up but maybe they just put Monty up as the replacement I I don't know I don't know it'd be interesting to see how that all would play out um but again it, he kind of reassured her like like you're not the target like you don't have to worry um after that uh Taylor met up with Turner and she actually uh pretty much called him out like was there a group of four guys before the leftovers were started which I don't know when she got that information. I know Michael and Brittany knew about it. Uh, Monty might have filled her in. Uh, they probably filled her in this past week when everything was going on. But I'm not 100% sure with the feeds being down all the time. At some point, I'm sure she was kind of filled in. Or, hey, maybe this is just her guessing correctly. That's a possibility as well. But she called Turner out on that. And he was like, no, no. Like, what are you talking about? That wasn't a thing. Um, and his main thing was just, he didn't feel secure in his spot in the seven. So he felt like he had to make this move now. And it was like a last minute decision. He's like, I didn't know what I was doing until I started pulling those keys out of the bag, which was a lie, but it's, you know what he's going with. Um, after a lot of that stuff, Monty was eventually fully filled in on the things that happened last week, except not quite. Uh, they kept trying to say Joseph was the one who who spilled everything, and it it was it was a bloodbath. Like it was crazy, and he just released everything. So they threw Joseph under the bus hard. Problem is, Monty doesn't buy this, uh, and he's actually gone and told Taylor, Brittany, uh, and Michael, like, hey, be careful because like he didn't say it outright. But he's like, I'm pretty sure they know, and I'm pretty sure it wasn't Joseph. So uh, he's he's working both sides right now. So he's trying to kind of make sure like they're protected, but he also knows he has to work uh, with this new group, and it might just make sense for him to go with this group going forward. Uh, but we'll see uh, what his decisions end up uh, being. He's definitely trying to at least share some of the stuff he's learning with the others. So that's that's a, a, a good sign to see. Um, <laughs> he's also, like I said, he's trying to make sure he's not the replacement nom because uh, if he goes against them here, well, very likely it could be, well, all right, forget Michael. Let's just get rid of Monty if we can't even trust him now. We tried to bring him into the fold and now he's he's throwing us in the bus. Okay. Um. Brittany and Michael had lots of conversations. Uh, there's one we'll get to in just a bit that's really interesting. Um, but it was all about, like, just saying, like, you have to win veto. Like, if you don't win veto, you're going to go up and you have to take one of us down. Like, that's the only way this works. And they said even then, it's very likely the person who's left up there goes. Uh, so that is something they're all kind of considering and they're in, they know they're in a, in a tough, tough spot right now. Uh, other than that, uh, Brittany then went and told Alyssa about the leftovers. Uh, they did, they did have a conversation. It was Michael and Brittany and Alyssa where she was like giving them a, a chance to kind of tell, but they didn't. And then Brittany later told Alyssa on her own about the leftovers, which she then went and told uh, Turner and Kyle and I think even Monty about. Um, and uh, <laughs> what was amazing was Kyle went and was like, Psh, she wasn't even on the block for two hours and she spilled everything. Do you forget that you weren't even on the block yet? And you told Terrence everything do you forget this 
<laughs> like, come on, my man. Like, you got to own, own your stuff here. Own your stuff here. Because you did probably worse, right? If you're not even on the block and it's probably just going to be your girlfriend going home, like, you could have just sat back and been like, oh, okay. But it is. It is a thing. <laughs> um, Michael and Brittany, though, did eventually discuss. Uh, Michael was actually kind of riding on the bicycle. And he's like, look. It might be time that we reveal, especially with if the veto goes bad, that we reveal the whole cookout 2.0 stuff that Kyle kept pitching to us. And Brittany's like, I know I don't want to do it, though. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. If you were going to do this, you should have done it two weeks ago. It's too late. It's too late at this point. Um, so much information Michael had that he could have used to tank Kyle's game, but he didn't. And there's actually three things that Michael messed up that have four things, really, now that I think about it, uh, that Michael has messed up that has led to this scenario that we're in right now. First thing he did wrong. Uh, we talked about it with the HOH comp before Direfest and Bricella were split, in that HOH comp, Michael won, and he had a choice between Terrence, Jasmine, and Turner for the next two people to play. He chose Jasmine and, and Terrence, and by doing that, he guaranteed one of them would be the HOH. Which, I understand the logic that he he thought there, where it's like, alright, let's guarantee that the leftovers at least control one of the HOHs. Where, I feel like that might have hurt Turner in where he was like, man, you're like choosing not to trust in the two of us to beat them and giving one of them an HOH. I don't know if Turner actually felt this way, but it, to me, I think that's what's helped lead to this situation. On the second point during that same competition and, and afterwards uh, when they had to pick players, him not choosing Kyle ruined his relationship with Kyle. Now, to be fair, I think if he did pick Kyle and separated Kyle and Alyssa from each other, Kyle still probably would have ended up being mad that uh, Alyssa wasn't with him and would have blamed uh, Michael for picking him. But uh, either way, this is literally what Kyle has said. He had a cam talk uh, in the HOH for a long time, kind of explaining his side of things. Um, and that made it feel like, well, he... Does he values Monty over me? Weird thing is with that, in Michael's head, what he was thinking was, well, if I bring Monty over, that's a secondary target in case Jasmine wins veto. So he was and he was actually hoping that by sending Kyle over there, they could possibly take a shot at Joseph. And it would be like, okay. So it, it was it, I understand Michael why he did it, but in the end, it seems like it's the thing that's kind of uh messing his game up. Third, third thing, we'll go with this one first. Uh, he was given the information from Kyle about the pound and he didn't share it enough. He should have went to Monty and been like, you know what Kyle told me? <laughs> he should have went to Turner and been like, you know what Kyle told me? But he didn't. He, he never used that information to his advantage. And instead, now Kyle is using that, that information he gave him as a means to get him out of the house now. I, you got to give credit where it's due. That is 3D chess by Kyle. It wasn't his initial plan, but he knows that he gave him that information. And the fact that he has that information, he can now use that against him because he didn't share it. Crazy. It's just wild. Uh, now, the other thing is what we talked about just a little bit before this. The cookout 2.0 stuff. If they would have called Kyle out for that earlier, Kyle's game is tanked. But if they do it now, it will seem like desperation and not one person in the house is really going to believe it. Like, no one's going to believe it. Terrence ain't going to believe that. <laughs> okay, right? Monty's going to feel like a little weird, like, so wait, this was happening? You didn't tell me? It's, it's just revealing it now, I think, would do them more harm than it would do good. And that's crazy to think, 
but that's just the reality of the way the situation is right now. Um, after those conversations, we did have eventually the After Party Alliance bringing in Monty and kind of solidifying that new five-person group. Uh, I don't think they've named themselves yet, but that has uh, been solidified. And in fact, we can flip on over to our Alliance chart here to kind of get a better idea of where the standing of the house is. So you have the Leftovers, because, uh, well, the Leftovers are over, and those are the people that were left in the leftovers as everybody kind of jumped on out. Uh, we have this new five person group that was the after party plus Monty. And I have Monty in both groups because, well, he's kind of playing both sides right now. Uh, he wants to work with uh, the leftovers still, and he's trying to give them information as much as he can, but obviously he's not going to uh, go against this five-person group because they're in power right now, and they have all of the advantage over him. Uh, we've got the city council in there, the after party. There's uh, the two uh, three-person groups of uh, Brittany, Michael, and Taylor, and Kyle, Alyssa, and Turner on each side as well. The final twos have really shrunk now at this point because so many of them are out the window. Um, we got rid of the Michael Brittany one. We got rid of... Oh, what other one did we get rid of? There's another one we got rid of, and I even forget what it was right now. <laughs> but we're down to... These are really the only final twos that are, are very, very solid. Um, yeah, it is definitely a wild week uh, that we're in for here as as things are going to unfold with the veto ceremony today. Uh, there's rumors that it could be Zingbot, so look out for that. Uh, there, this is around the time that, that Zing would show up is right around now or maybe next week's veto. Uh, so it wouldn't shock me if it was. It's also uh, going to be a very early day for them. They went to bed very, very early last night. Uh, so I'd imagine they're getting up early for, for, you know, a big competition. Uh, and this is an important one, uh, because here's the thing, even if Michael is picked for the veto and even if Michael wins the veto, he then has to make the decision. Does he take down Brittany or does he take down Taylor? He's already talked to Taylor. Um, and he's kind of said like, yeah, it makes sense if I win it to take down you leave Brittany up because she would have the better shot of staying against somebody who goes up, which is true. Um, let's say, for example, uh, just to kind of play it out, right? Michael wins. He takes down Taylor. Who's the replacement? Well, there's only really four options. There's Monty, Kyle, Terrence, and Alyssa. I would imagine Kyle being last one or uh, excuse me, Monty being last one in of the group of five. He would be the replacement. I could see them going, okay, you know what? Monty's too good of a, a player right now. We got to take a shot. And Monty could could go go to jury. Because why send Brittany over Monty when Monty would be more likely to win competitions, take out a shot on you, but that does leave the threesome of Brittany, Taylor, and Michael that you would have to deal with. But then in any other scenario, right? Well, if you don't put Monty up there, you don't control the votes. Because if you put Alyssa up there, well, you have to trust that Monty isn't going to say, okay, well, Taylor, uh, Michael, do you guys just want to vote out Alyssa? <laughs> right? They put Terrence up there. Okay, you guys just want to vote out Terrence? Like, it just, it, it, there's, that is their only real, real uh, option at this point. Michael wins veto. I, I mean, yeah. You could t technically do the same thing by taking down Brittany to save Taylor. Um, but at the end of the day, you still need Monty to stick with you guys. Uh, if Monty decides not to stick with you guys and, and vote with uh, Kyle, uh, Terrence, or Alyssa, whoever would end up uh, as a replacement, if he's not on the block, then you're you're in trouble still too. Uh, but more than likely, it, I could see it being Monty being the replacement nominee so that they control the votes uh, and they send that other person home. It's going to be a wild one. It's definitely going to be a wild one. I'm really interested to see how this goes. This season, right? Like, listen, sometimes you're you're not happy with how things are turning out, but it's still fun and, and crazy to see how this is all playing out. Uh, and this season has just continued to be the most unpredictable and 
uh, just wild seasons that we've had in a very, very long time. These are people who are here to make plays and they're trying to think strategically and they're trying to do everything uh, that's best for their game and not just thinking about like doing what the house wants. Uh, so it's been refreshing to see a lot of that. There has been some problematic stuff that's that's taken place. There has been uh, a few people that's like, oh, I wish uh, I wish they maybe had gone out a little bit sooner. But you have to give credit, uh, especially to Kyle right now. He's by far outplaying everyone in this house. Everyone. He's he outsmarted Michael. He's outsmarted Brittany. He's outsmarted uh, Turner. He he's he's pretty much running the house right now everyone is following his plans and playing along into his his game and he's using information and things that he's done to then spin it back and throw the target on to the people he gave information to which uh, that's next level like you i just have to give him credit that is next level uh yeah <laughs> it, it is it is shocking that he's able to get away with it and it's shocking that they're letting his just so strongly his he's against how uh letting Alyssa go would be a good idea and he's continued to push to save her and uh yeah they just keep letting him do it they just keep letting him do it and uh it's uh it's gonna be fascinating to see how this all turns out for the end game now because uh you do have to start thinking about jury votes and Michael and Brittany not to anyone's face but actually alone have said like if one of us goes this week Turner's lost our vote and it's it's something that Turner really even said when Kyle tried to make the move and tried to get him to go along with the idea that making a move against the leftovers would be a good idea Turner himself said well yeah, anybody who makes the move against against us is going to be the next one out. Turner, if you don't succeed in this shot, you're not looking good. And it's why I said before this week, I said Turner should not win the HOH. Turner, I, I honestly believe Turner was in the best spot in the house. Now, to be fair, he didn't know all the information. He didn't have it all to really make that kind of a decision and come to that conclusion, but he was 100% in the safest spot in the house. You would have had Kyle and Alyssa going after people like Monty and Michael. You would have had Monty and Michael going after uh, Kyle and Terrence and Alyssa. You could have just sat back and let them fight each other. Um, but he, I think, I think at least in Turner's head, he doesn't see a way of beating anyone else in the leftovers other than Kyle. And he wants to go to the final two with Kyle. Because here's, here's the thing. Turner is loyal to the people who show him the most loyalty. Uh, that said, Michael hasn't shown him as much loyalty. Brittany was there very early. They had the whole pinky swear thing. Um, but Kyle is the one he spent kind of the most time with especially this past week they all really bonded with that he did struggle as he came back in and that's why he kind of refused to let go of Monty uh those two have been buddies for a while I still remember the night they were just like sharing a dip from like Taylor's HOH and just like they would take a dip pass the bowl take a dip pass the bowl back and like they're just they're good friends uh so for for Turner I can see that he's really kind of struggling with that aspect of the game right now because it does get to that point where you need to take shots uh, at your friends. Uh, so it's been it's it's been very, very entertaining. Uh, a lot of chaos. It's 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 a wild week uh, that we still have uh, ahead of us here. We're only we're only uh, uh, really a day into this one. And uh, it's already turning out to be a, a crazy one. Another crazy week inside the BB24 house. Uh, but let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Uh, what do you think of everything that's going on? Uh, who do you think uh, will uh, go home if the nominations stay the same? Uh, who are you hoping for to win veto? I think I have an idea on who you guys would want to win veto. Uh, and uh, yeah. 
thank you guys so much uh, for all the support you've given me over the past few weeks uh, here on the channel. If you are new here, hit that subscribe button. And if you like this video, if you made it all the way to the end of this video, smash that like button, hit that notification bell so you never miss a video, you never miss a stream. Uh, we will be back with another update tomorrow. Uh, there's also a episode tomorrow uh, on Sunday night. Uh, and a lot of you have been asking for the Sunday night Twitch watch alongs to come on back. So I think I'm going to try and bring that back uh, for tomorrow night. If you want to find uh, all of my socials, all the links are in the description and uh, in the pinned comment down below. You can find links to my Twitter, my Twitch, uh, our Discord, where it's been really cool to kind of interact with you guys more. All that stuff is down below. Uh, so you can check that out if you like. Uh, and as always, I will see you next time.